Hello, uh, welcome. This is Diamond Fernandez from the HeartFit Clinic. I just want to share some things that are very important, especially when it comes to having heart stents and when they should be happening and even uh, when you even should be considering bypass surgery because uh, it's, it's very important. Anyway, I'm just going to give you an actual case study that happens and it happens quite a bit, unfortunately, in, in, our, in our clinics. We see this and what happened was is that this patient comes in and they end up getting uh, they, they go through, a, they end up going, getting a thorough physical out in the healthcare system. Uh, and then they ended up going to do a stress test. And then a stress test showed a plumbing problem, right? And arteries are not a pipe, right? They're a muscle. And so when they showed the plumbing problem, all of a sudden they're like, you know, this is kind of query. Let's go investigate a little bit further. So they went right from a stress test to an angiogram, which is an invasive test where they come in through the uh, arm or the groin and they come right to the heart and they and you can see the heart on my side here but they come right into the heart and they actually ended up doing uh, a stent and they put in uh, it was a complicated lesion so they put a stent it was about 75 or uh, percent lesion whatever it might be and they said you know what we can leave it alone or we can go and do it and, and he basically hummed and hawed over this aspect of it and, um, and, and they ended up doing the stent okay that sounds cool because now you've opened up the artery and now you've restored blood flow, but it's not. What happens now is that this patient has a bunch of chest pain now afterwards. After you put in the stent, now they're worse off than even before. Before he was walking around fine, there was no problems, no concerns. Now you go in and intervene and do a heart stent. This takes us to the ischemia trial. And the ischemia trial shows that doing a stent or bypass is just as good of a treatment option uh, versus uh, versus optimal medical therapy. So uh, optimal medical therapy is a, possibly a beta blocker, a statin, an ACE inhibitor, an aspirin. And so taking medications is just as good as doing the uh, doing a stent or bypass. And this sounds funny to a lot of people. And, and a lot of people talk on the internet with us. They, you know, we've commented a lot on this part of it. People look at us funny and sideways and like, what are you talking about? If an artery is blocked, you should open it up or do bypass surgery. Absolutely, if it is an emergency. Otherwise, if it's not an emergency, you're gonna do more harm than good. And this is what I'm trying to say, this is this case study where is a perfect example as to why you should follow the trials. There's a reason why we do trials and the benefits should outweigh the risks. In this way, it didn't outweigh the risk. And this is why it's important to make sure that you can, uh, um, you know, come to a clinic like ours where we can talk about how you can reverse the disease process. And that's another video altogether. But this is the difference between having a heart stent or bypass surgery in a stable environment, which is not necessary, versus an unstable environment, a heart attack, acute coronary syndrome, you're going to the hospital with massive chest pain. This is a reason to do a heart stent or bypass surgery. The other way, maybe not. And that's where the data is showing. And that's a hard concept for a lot of people to think about because they think of the artery like a pipe. It's a muscle. If you don't believe me, you can feel it. You can feel it in different spots in the body. That's not your heart beating. That's your artery expanding, contracting. If I attach all your arteries together, go around the world a few times, all of them do that same thing. They all expand and contract. And how disease happens is not cholesterol building up to this uh, pipe and you have a last cheeseburger and fries and end up with a heart attack. Anyway, just wanted to share that case study with you and understand the gaps in the healthcare system and how we should possibly be following what we can do. And then the HeartFit Clinic can help you reverse that disease process by integrative side of things, by bridging this gap that we have going beyond just medications.